You ever wonder how websites have complicated headers like this? And as you scroll down, a simplified version of this complicated header appears? That's called the sticky header. And today, we're going to show you how to take this complicated process and make it simple. Hi, I'm Chris McKenzie, CMO at Adrian Graphics Marketing. And I'm going to show you how we created this complicated header using WordPress run on Elementor. We're using a premium theme called Jupiter X that gives you advanced customization options. The first thing you want to do is get your template created for your header, All right? That's the top part. The first thing you see when a user appears on the site, that's your header. Now you can alternate that and create another template that you call your sticky header. Let me show you how to do that. So we get this template for our header created exactly the way we want it. Then we create another template that we call our sticky header, right? So as you can see, this section right here is the same on this template and the other template. So let me just show you how I created this. So I can actually just take this section, copy, or I can right click and copy. I can come in here and I can paste it. We have these elements here though, so we can take them and we can copy them into the other site. Right, so we can take that button, copy it using my control C shortcut. And I can come into this column and I can paste it. Okay, copy the other button it as well so as you can see these elements are side by side though and they're a little bit different in the call to action and actually they are in different order this comes first this comes second so the way we would do that we would change the order and this is one of the nice things about Jupiter X it has the customizability to specify your column to change to a flex layout okay so what that's going to do is it's going to allow these elements to be side by side versus stacked by default in Elementor, things are stacked on top of each other. Okay. So watch this as I change this to just say materials and I change this to just say call. These elements are going to now stack side by side. We want to make sure these elements are the same. So we need the horizontal line to be perfect. And that will put that to the end. We can take this button and add a margin on it. Let's say 10 pixels. All right. And then if we want, we can reduce the font size of these buttons. Just to show you how I did make these look the same. Let's say those would be 15. Right, so we need a little more padding here. And once you get this template the way that you want it, all that's left to do is to go specify which template to use for which header. All right, so go to the customizer, click header, and then here where you see the drop downs, you choose your main header for the top one and set this to sticky. And then you get the ability to specify the other template. And as you scroll down, that's where you see the new header you created. Okay, it's that easy. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us as we can walk you through any of these things. And if you have any other ideas that you want to know about, just let us know and we'll create a video for you. Thanks for watching.